Hi, I'm Shane from eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ETB27L wiring kit for wireless brake controllers. This is going to give us our 7-pole connection and our 4-pole connection to provide us with the proper lighting to safely tow our trailer. How this kit is different than the ETBC7, this one is designed to be used with wireless brake controllers. With the ETBC7, we're going to have wires we have to run inside the cab of the vehicle and hook them to our brake controller, which is mounted to the dash. This eliminates that. All you need from this is a power wire going to the battery. Now, as far as mounting this, if your hitch has a pre-welded bracket, your kit's going to come with a bracket for the plug that's going to mount directly to it. If your hitch does not have that bracket, you can find uh, no drill mounting brackets here at eTrailer.com. They'll mount directly to the hitch. As far as the wiring, uh, it's going to require a four pole plug coming from the vehicle. If you don't have one, you will have to get one installed. As far as mounting our plug onto our bracket, you're going to get four screws or bolts in your kit that allow you to mount that plug to that bracket. Your four pole plug, the bracket's going to have a cutout. It just slides right into place. The case is going to be constructed of a durable plastic. It's going to hold up in all weather condition. It's going to hold up against UV rays, so we're not going to have to worry about it cracking or breaking. It's going to have a spring-loaded lid, so when we're not using it, it stays closed. On the inside of the lid, we're going to have a uh, foam ring that's going to seal right around this edge. It's going to help keep any dirt and debris and moisture from getting on our connections. Our four-pole plug is going to have a nice dust cap also to help protect our connections from dirt, debris, and moisture. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. First thing we need to do is we need to mount our seven pole plug. Our draw tight hitch here that they have already mounted has a pre-welded bracket for, uh, for mounting that seven pole plug or four pole plug. This bracket here is gonna come with the ETBC7L. So we're gonna mount right to that bracket. Now we'll mount our seven pole plug onto our bracket. On each one of our bolts, we need to put a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. We're gonna have two four pole plugs that come attached to our seven pole plug. We want the one with the cap. We're gonna mount it, right? next to our seven pole. That gives us our four pole connection if we need it. We're gonna take the other four pole wire, we're gonna plug it into our four pole wire that we had previously installed. That's gonna give us all of our light functions to our trailer. I'm gonna take some dielectric grease. I'm gonna put it on my connections for my four pole wiring. It's gonna help keep uh, my connections from corroding if any moisture or anything like that gets on them. Plug them together. Our blue and yellow wire we're not going to be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape all of this together. I'm going to put a zip tie around these two. This is going to hold my two plugs together. Go ahead and cut off my cover because I'm not going to need it. Now I'm going to tape, take some electrical tape, and I'm going to tape over all of this, including my blue and yellow wire. The only thing we're going to need to do is run our black wire to the front for power. Ground wire, I'm going to ground, I think I'm going to try to ground it right up here on top. Uh, let me get it taped up first and we'll see where we can get to with it. Now I, I chose to take this cover off right here. Uh, you'll have a couple push pin fasteners on the bottom and then on the inside, Right along this edge, they're just plastic clips. They clip right into the back of the fascia. And then you'll have some blue clips on the ends that hold it in place on each end. I'm removing this, because I'm gonna ground my ground wire right here. With this panel in place, I can't get my drill in there to do it. When grounding your wire, it doesn't necessarily have to be here. You just wanna make sure it's on metal. Next, we need to connect our power wire. You're going to get a bundle of black wire with your kit that you need to run to the front and up to the battery. Let me show you how I ran it. You want to make sure when running it, you stay away from anything hot or moving. I went over top of my rear axle, 
right next to my fuel tank, right along this hard line and underneath this panel. I didn't have to take the panel off, it's pretty flexible, so I just pulled down here, fed it through, and just kept working it all the way up to the front here. This is where my wire came out. I have, I'm using an airline tube from my battery. I got it down here, I'll hook my wire up to it and it'll help me pull it back up to the top. If you don't have airline tube, you can use wire hanger or anything like that. Something to get you down close to the firewall. Go ahead and hook the black wires together. Crimp it down. Double mount our circuit breaker. You want to find somewhere preferably metal to mount to. Uh, if you're going to mount it to plastic, just make sure it's a durable plastic. I'm going to go right here along this front frame piece. Now I ran my wire behind this existing wiring here just to help keep it tight. Now I'm going to cut it to size. The wire coming from our seven pole is going to go onto this silver post and then we'll take the existing wiring or the extra to go from the copper post to the positive side of the battery. Go ahead and cut that to size. Shove it back. Then we're going to add on a small ring terminal. Take our extra wire. Add our second small ring terminal. Wrap this around just like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it that length. We'll add on our large ring terminal. And we can remove that nut and add it to the positive side of our battery. Now we'll test out our wiring using an alternate power source. Left turn, right turn, running lights, brake lights. And that's going to complete our look at the ETBC7L wiring kit for wireless brake controllers.